Arkansas's Governor Asa Hutchison right now. Governor Hutchison, thanks for joining us again this morning. You know, your state appears to be in the grip of a third surge of the virus. Three days in a row this week, over a thousand new cases. Hospitalizations are rising. What can you do to turn this around? Well, one of the things that you see from the data is that early on in the pandemic, the average age of hospitalizations was 64. That has dropped 10 years down to 54. And the reason is uh, the elderly population got vaccinated. They're reducing the numbers going to the hospital, but it is that age group between 30 and 54 that uh, is becoming ill, uh, that has not been vaccinated, not good vaccination rates. And so that hospitalization rate has increased. And so what do we do about it? We're working very hard to uh, go to that population through the employer, through trusted advisors such as the clinics, making sure they have the information and overcoming the hesitancy or just the simply we're putting it off approach. Uh, I've started community conversations, going to cities. I'll be in six cities next week in Arkansas, simply talking about what are the concerns, what are the uh, community ideas to how we can do this better in terms of increasing that population and their vaccination rate. You're a Republican. How do you explain this partisan divide on vaccinations? Well, you know, it, there shouldn't be a partisan divide, first of all, but clearly a conservative is more hesitant about government authority. That's just the nature of it. And so I think in uh, southern states and some rural states, you have uh, that more conservative approach, skepticism about government. And we just have to answer it just like we have all through history that you overcome skepticism and mistrust by truth. Uh, you overcome uh, resistance and obstinance with saying that's important for our community and it's important for the health of our, of our state and nation. And so uh, I think that's simply the, the nature of the different views of government. Uh, we've got to overcome that mistrust because it sh Republicans, Democrats, we all suffer the same consequence if the Delta variant gets us and we're not vaccinated. Here's how President Biden addressed it this week. Let's take a look. We need to go to community by community, neighborhood by neighborhood, and oftentimes door to door, literally knocking on doors to get help to the remaining people protected from the virus. Now, he made it clear that he didn't mean having federal officials necessarily be go going door to door, but there is a federal outreach effort. Are you going to be cooperating with that? And how do you respond to some of your fellow governors in the South who say they don't want the federal government to have any part of this? Well, you know, whenever uh, we have a low vaccination rate, we want all the help we can in order to uh, accomplish a mutual goal in increasing vaccinations. Long before President Biden said that, uh, we have uh, community organizations that's helping us. We have churches that are going uh, into homes. We have people that go into those that are bedridden so that they can have access to the vaccine. So there's nothing dramatic about what the president said in itself. No one wants uh, an agent knocking on a door, but we do want those that uh, do not have access otherwise to make sure they know about and have the information. Not everybody goes on the internet, uh, not everybody has that access, and so how do you get information to them? We want to have our churches involved, we want to have our communities, organizations, and if it means uh, uh, going uh, into a community door by door and letting them know of this, then that's okay. Uh, the situation in your state is so tough right now. The top medical officer at the University of Arkansas says Arkansans need to keep masking up right now. But you recently signed legislation banning local mask mandates. Should that be delayed? No, uh, if, no, it should not. And first of all, the CDC has it right, and I hope they don't change that guidance. I hope it's not necessary to change that guidance. And that is that if you're vaccinated, uh, you don't need to wear a mask. And so uh, I think if we started requiring mask wearing of those vaccinated, uh, particularly, well, anywhere, indoors or outdoors, that is a disincentive to get vaccinated. We want people to be rewarded and saying, your life's going to be more normal, you're going to be more protected. And to tell people who've been vaccinated you got to wear a mask is uh, the wrong uh, program. It's not going to be helpful to get people to be vaccinated. What about schools? How are you going to handle masks in schools this fall? 
well, we're not going to have masks in the schools, and we had uh, in-classroom school last year. We're going to have it even better this year. And, uh, you know, whenever right now 12-plus could be vaccinated, and so the solutions are clear to be safe in the schools, get vaccinated. Now, those that are 12 and under uh, that don't have that same access, and so you've got to even be more careful, even though the risks are less, that's an incentive for parents to protect those children to make sure they have a safe environment in their home and in their community by increasing the vaccination rate for everybody around them, and they can have a successful year as well. Governor Hutchison, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Great to be with you, George. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.